What's going on everybody? It is your host AK here and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video we're going to be talking about the new content that was released today on Tuesday the 4th of September. Uh, let's have a look see. I'm standing on a roof with dramatic effect. I mean look at that sunset. Just just, just look at it. Just look at it. Okay, it sort of gets a bit shit when I'm in first person. Never mind. Right, let's have a look. So, I know from looking at Yan2295 on Twitter he says that uh, the Canis Free Crawler and, uh, and the Trading Places Remix Adversary Mode are what's coming today. So, ah, uh, there it is. Oh, we'll get it in white because it's the bespoke colours. Um, and uh, let's have a look. See. Uh, oh, I've got two hustlers. What about office garage number two? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get rid of the surfer. I only got that so I could go to a, a bloody... A beach-themed meet. Oh. And he just said his... My safe way down has arrived and then crashed his helicopter. Um, um, I'd rather take my chances with gravity. I don't need an Uber. Really? Anyway, so. The Yanis, what was it called? Free Crawler. Sounds an interesting name. Let's have a look, see. So it should be delivered to this one. Uh. Damn it. Was it number two? Yes, so it should be here soon. GG. I'll need to make a new garage, I think, full of different cars. Oh, I thought it was. Stinger Classic. No, sorry, a Coquette Classic. What am I talking about? Hmm. Oh, here's uh, VW with the weirdest looking character I've ever seen. Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's a four door. Oh, wow, those are some very well hidden doors. I can see what you mean, Richard. It is a bit weird looking. Oh, wow, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go modify this at the... Oh, are you getting in? Do you want to get in? Okay. So we're going to go... Is it, does it have any... Oh, it has quite a ri high ride height. But not enough to get over there. Oh, yes! I quite like the way it looks from the back. Front looks nice too, but it doesn't look like it's a four-door car. It doesn't look like it's got four doors when you look at it from the side because it looks like it's too like short, too stumpy. I would say, but that's a bit of a terrible thing to say about a car. A miracle that you want me to perform. That should do the trick. Deflectors. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. You can get a Patriot deflector. Oh, the power. The power. Uh, 
heavy duty. You got great taste. Oh. Oh, that's nice too. Hmm. Oh, you can say it says canis. Carbon canis, accented canis. Uh, I have to say, quite like. So, what's the stock grill? Stock is that. Quite like that. If that car was a woman, I guess. Hood, carbon, vented. Random. Step plate. Okay. Carbon vented with step plate. Uh, I don't know, there's not really that many accessories you can do to the front of the hood. I don't really like any of them. Well, no, that's a lie. I kind of like... I kind of like the vented hood, but I don't like the way it's made of carbon. So if it was chrome, you just have a random black square on your bonnet, so that looks a bit stupid. Livery, Canis, oh, oh, I see. Oh, now that is a cool livery, or livery, I say livery, livery, I'll, I'll ch I change depending on the day. But that is so nice, that is amazing looking. It makes it look like a proper, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what it would be called. What about the interior? Does it say Canis in there? I thought it did then. Oh, well, Mountain Soldier. Quite like that, that's nice. Makes it look the business, there you go. I don't know what the business is, but it definitely makes it look the business. That's interesting. Chain ski. Crafted in Blaine County. Oh, wow. Meinmacht. That's quite nice. Oh, the Viceroy. See, I think that's a bit overkill putting the visory on along the top of the bonnet and then also along the, the guard at the front. That's a bit. Oh, I like the uh, the black eagle hunter there. But I like the fact that they've put the eagle on the front of the thing, on the actual guard. That's quite cool. Oh yeah, and a lifeguard, like you said. Now that's funny. All right, okay. So we won't bother with any liveries for not now. Mud guards, yes, please. Plate, custom, I say exempt, rear panel. Oh, I see, it's just that bit there. I thought it was doing like the black bits at the side. It wasn't. Respray, secondary colour. Wait, that's the secondary. Oh, wow. That's cool and weird. Well, I'm sorry, ladies and gents, but it's going to be chrome. Amazing in Chrome. Sidestep. Oh, you can you can actually have a Chrome sidestep. The only thing is, it's like design, like the way the the vehicle is designed. It's sort of like a well, it's a rock crawler, isn't it? Is what it is. So it'd be good for off road, like car meets and stuff like that, so if you had a sidestep would that mean it wouldn't be very useful? Snorkels? Oh, wow. I can have a snorkel. Or a box snorkel. We'll have to test out the snorkel then. There, that should give a boost. Wheel type off-road. No, vehicles with snorkels mean that they can drive through water normally. If you find any vehicle that has a snorkel on it, you can drive through the water. Yeah, but they do. I've seen it tested. That's a beauty chrome right rims. Oh, actually, no, wait. If I've got an old chrome car, I should have stock rims. And then I should paint them black. Now that's a custom job. This is the same stuff they use on armored cars, you know. Just making sure I've got all the 
bits and bobs. Oh, lights, headlights, xenon. So, did I lower the suspension or was there not an option for that? There was no option for suspension. Okay, so you can't lower it. I like this. This looks nice. Oh, wow. Nice wide interior front window as well, so if you're a first-person driver, it, it actually could be a very viable first-person car. I quite like it. It's quite nice. How much was it again? It was like 900,000, wasn't it? 500,000. Hmm. I like it, it's quite nice. 597,000, so it's not cheap. I mean, it w its basic competition would be a Camacho, wouldn't it? Like, Camacho would be the thing that would be going up against in terms of, like, overpowered off-road vehicles and a Sand King. So can all of you please get a Camacho and a Sand King? That'd be great. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what it's like. Oh, hello. Well, they, they definitely didn't survive that. Right. So, overall opinions. Would I suggest that you buy this vehicle? Um, I mean, if you like off-road vehicles, it's definitely something to buy. Something to add to the collection, at least. Um, in terms of... Whether or not it's value for money, I don't particularly know just yet, because I haven't really tested it in an off-road environment. I mean, I mean, I can drive across the grass. It's very good on the grass, but most cars are good. good yeah. Most cars are good on grass, especially supercars. They're fantastic, and they're not really made to go off-road. So, um, it has a very high ride height. I will say that it is very high. It's almost like um, it reminds me of the Riata. The Riata is also quite a good off-road car as well. Oh, there's a Camacho. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video into two parts. We're going to have the uh, the main video where I obviously edit everything and uh, and sort of like make it chrome and make everyone's eyes water because everyone's so fed up of being in chrome. <laughs> and uh, the second video will be the test. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give a like. If you didn't, a dislike. If you're new, please subscribe. And remember... I've been your host for the most, AK. Okay.